When I first started at the soccer school Viande, there were just a few of us. Then as time passed, more people joined. I came to Yemena because it is easier to get to Europe from here. For me, a normal day begins with my early morning trip to Cameroon to pick up the films. About one o'clock in the afternoon, I go to the restaurant to have lunch. The soccer club does not pay us players, but they provide us with two free meals a day. We train at about three o'clock in the afternoon, and then we go back to the bar for dinner. My daily work finishes with a session at the cinema. When I go to Europe, I would like to play for a French team, preferably for Bordeaux, and maybe just for two years. After that, I will try to go to Spain or England. In England, I want to play with Liverpool, and in Spain, with Real Madrid. That's all I want, with the help of God. I first met André two years ago. He is a player who knows what he wants. He seemed inattentive at first, but he has worked hard all this time. He has a future as a soccer player because he is determined. Chad soccer has many problems. There is no infrastructure or equipment or coaches that know how to teach well. The war ruined everything. Soccer and sports in general are a key factor for the development of a country like ours. If the government really wants us to progress, they must invest in sports. I want to talk to you because I have some complaints about the work we are doing. I don't understand. We play badly and nobody gets angry. It seems you don't care. When I was a player, it was not like that. When I played, if I failed, I was angry the whole week. But I must tell you something. After the match the other day, I saw more than one of you getting drunk in the neighborhood. If I were you, I would be really ashamed. Next Saturday, I don't want any excuses. The police team is in last place. We have to win.
Attention, on bouge plus. La tôle, top. The opening of the first session of the 2001 National Assembly took place this morning. The first vice president of the National Assembly has stated that in these four years of the Assembly's activities, the principles of the rule of law have really worked to put the democratic institutions in place as foreseen in the Constitution. After well-deserved holidays, our illustrious members of Parliament have made their way back to the chamber again. For the opening of the first session, we have been honored with the presence of members of the government, including the Prime Minister Nabo Niamasum, ambassadors and representatives of international organizations, presidents of state institutions, state chiefs, top military officers, representatives of political parties, and associations of civil society. At the Women's Festival 2001, we can see all the activities developing throughout the city of Yemena. Our reporter, Mahana Nadikari, went to the social center this morning where women obtain information about activities that generate income. The Minister of Foreign Affairs attended these meetings, conferences, and debates at the beginning of the week. Let's have a look. Women also want to make a claim for their cause in emancipation during these decisive sessions by means of practical cases composed by the women who run the Association of Women Jurists. The participants have followed two trials about succession and inheritance and violence against women. This was a spark that allowed women to heatedly discuss and contribute to their testimony. Let's listen to one of them. <laughs> If a man is guilty, he must be punished. It is necessary to set an example for all men and oblige them to assume their responsibilities. If we talk about poverty, we must also speak about the lack of schooling for girls and the increase in juvenile delinquency. From now on, if men do not comply with these responsibilities, we will have to intervene and not remain silent. Men control the money and the position of power, but if they fail, they must be punished. All men must be punished. Someday, I'll be there, and the people in my village will join together at the bar to see me play. When I see those players like Sheringham and Beckham on the soccer field, I think, well, maybe it was not so easy for them. And when they were my age, they also had the dream of becoming a great star. I wonder, why can't I be one? A lot of Africans have been successful in Europe. There is George Weah, Fanidi, Samuel Eto'o. They started here, and now you see him playing in the big stadiums in front of thousands of spectators. They drive big luxury cars. Everybody admires them, and when they return to Africa, they are received like heroes. Someday, I'll be there too.